G'day, this is Adam VA, founder and owner of AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia. I'd just like to take a couple of moments out before we start tonight's free energy magnetic levitation video to thank anyone and everyone out there in the world who has purchased a product from me over the last four years, especially those of you who purchased a product during the time of the dreaded global financial recession. During this time, money that was acquired through ABA Magnetic Levitation, which is normally used to fund other projects and experiments to further the field of free energy magnetics, it had to be used to put food in my mouth and a roof over my head. So, basically, at the end of this year, we're hoping to move back into the format of other experiments and bigger and better experiments, which we hope to share with you starting at the end of this year. But leading up to that, we have a heap of other experiments, uh, product reviews, and tricks and experiments that you can try yourself at home with the products we sell, or you can go off and come up with your own experiment, hopefully, and that's the sort of thing we're looking for, is other people to come up with stuff as well. So, um, I'd just like to thank anyone everyone out there yet again. Um, I wouldn't be in this house, and I wouldn't still be doing this if not for the sales from you people. I'm extremely grateful, and I'd just like to say that if anyone has any offers of any financial assistance for any experimentation, um, any old equipment they'd like to donate that may fit in or suit what we do, or they have any technical advice or assistance they can offer towards a project or application that they have an idea for themselves or something they think might work, I'm happy to hear from you and I'm happy to listen. If you have any questions um, or comments, please go ahead chuck them in and um, I'll try and get to them and answer them as best I can. Huh. Now that's out of the way, on with tonight's feature. I hope you like what you see um, in the features that we're doing with free energy mag magnetic levitation. I'm hoping to do a video every month, offer a lot more explanation as to how to yourself and what's actually going on as far as I can understand it myself. So, on with tonight's feature. I hope you like what you see and I look forward to seeing you again next month. This is Adam VA signing off. Okay, the two kits you see before you from left to right is the Lev Cube Mark I and the Lev Cylinder Mark I. Both units retail for around $26 on eBay right now and we're going to reduce the bidding price down to $20 starting tomorrow. Basically these two kits um, are free energy magnetic levitation devices. Um, science has told me that these devices should last for four to five hundred years provided the magnets aren't damaged or interfered with in the wrong way. It will levitate a piece of pyrolithic graphite, there are two pieces provided with each kit, and it will levitate it for 1.5 to 2 millimeters high, self-centering, not requiring any energy source, batteries or any other sort of power. Um, the Lev Cube which is this one I'm playing with now, this was a science experiment that I saw online and I basically packaged. Um, to give you a little explanation as to how it works and what it is, this cube is uh, 20 millimeters in diameter and it's made up of eight 10 millimeter cube magnets, rare earth element magnets, which are the most powerful available today. The um, configuration of the magnetic fields at each end there is a checkerboard of north, south, north, south, so that there's always an opposing magnet next to each other. And this opposition is what actually helps the pyrolithic graphite do its work. Whenever you put pyrolithic graphite, which is a small black material, on top of an opposing magnetic field where there's a crossover of north and south, it creates lift. When you put it over a crosshair, of four magnets, it creates lift, but also pu pushes the pyrolithic graphite towards the center, keeping it centralized while it's levitating. Now, the Lev Cube Mark I is a great little unit, and there's lots of experiments you can do with it, but today I'd like to focus more on the Lev Cylinder Mark I. So I'll move that aside, and we'll go to the Lev Cylinder Mark I. Now, the Lev Cylinder Mark I, the only difference really between the two units is, after I made the Lev Cube, a little disappointed the fact that the parts didn't rotate very well because it's operating over a crosshair. 
So I thought, what would happen if you made it levitate over a circle? Would you get a circular motion? And sure enough, after much late nights and muckerizing around, I came up with this. This is the Lev Cylinder Mark one. It comes with two pieces of pyroelectric graphite, just like the cube. One's a hexagonal shape, like this, and one's a round shape. Both parts will levitate and rotate freely. The only thing slowing down the rotation of the part is a little bit of flux tangle, as I like to call it, and friction with the surrounding air. Now, today I'd just like to quickly show you some of the things that you can do with the Lev Cylinder Mark 1. Some of these experiments and tricks will actually work with the Lev Cube as well, but today I'm using the Lev Cylinder Mark 1 because I have an exciting experiment which you can build yourself and I'm very excited about. So what I'll try and do to show you how easy it is to set up and build this experiment, I won't stop the camera, and I'll try and do the setup with everything as it is. First I'll take a couple of spacers. Which is just two pieces of foam, but depending on how you do this setup yourself, you may not require them. And then I'll take a small propeller. This is off a small radio controlled plane or helicopter from a local hobby shop. And I'll balance that over the top of the round piece of pyrolytic graphite. And then, I'll take this component, which is basically a piece of clear plastic tube with three legs, makes it look a bit like a rocket, with the top textured black. That's all it is. Three different components put together. I'll place that over the top of the thermal engine. And then I'll take an ordinary 50 watt desk lamp, which is our artificial sun or heat source. And then I'll pan down to our impeller. And if it's not jamming up anywhere, which I think it is... There where we go. So basically we've made a thermodynamic engine using the Lev Cylinder Mark 1 and the disc provided as a free energy self-centering magnetic levitation bearing or platform for our turbine. Now, thermal engine of this kind works basically with a heat convection current. It works on the principle that our heat source at the top heats this area of the tube, creates hot air, the hot air rises, drawing more air or convection current in through the bottom. As it draws air in through the bottom, it goes past the turbine or impeller blades, giving it rotation. Very, very simple. Probably make an excellent science fair project for the right person. Um, you find that having a very small gap between the impeller and the tube creates more speed. Um, even if you better still had a tube that was a little bit bigger than the diameter or the cross section of your blades, you'd probably find that it would work even better again. Um, the legs, you don't have to use Depron foam as I did, you could probably use cardboard instead. So, there you have it. Very simple thermal dynamic engine that anyone can build. What you're looking at at the moment is a world first from AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia. This is a free energy magnetic levitation Gauss gun. These are the particles that it fires out. And don't worry mum or dad if your kids are getting into this sort of thing, it's not dangerous whatsoever. Basically you put the pyrolytic graphite on the levitating starting tray using a small piece of plastic. You basically just gently push them into the field the active field takes over and the particles accelerate down the rails. Um, basically you can put any size and shape that will fit basically between the rails in there. Some work better than others. And the magnetic field will take over and propel them out the end every time. Great fun.